Heading into the January transfer window, the Barcelona manager Xavi Hernandez has tons of issues to start out. From finding a long-term centre-back to finding someone who knows how to score goals, the Spanish tactician is well aware of the struggles that he's facing. Ralf Ragnick has confirmed that Anthony Martial has requested to be sold in the January transfer window, but the Manchester United manager says that certain conditions have to be met in order for that to happen. Fiorentina know that they might not be able to hold on to their star striker Dusan Blahovic, and the Serb has informed the club that he will stay beyond the upcoming transfer window if a certain condition is met. According to rumours, Benfica might be letting go of George Jesus and might have already decided on a surprise replacement, which we definitely did not see coming. Before we get started, we want to share the sponsor of today's video. The OneFootball app is the ultimate football platform and is a must-have for every football fan so that you can follow all of your favourite leagues, teams and players all the time right from your phone. You can be sure to turn on notifications for specific players to be instantly alerted when they score a goal or when they're involved in other breaking news. It's the best and easiest way to stay up to date with everything football. Click the link in the description down below to download the app right now. You won't regret it. With 16 goals in the league since the start of the season, Dusan Vlahovic has turned things around for his club and his ability to score freely has attracted quite a lot of attention. Fiorentina know they won't be able to hold back their striker for long with a contract that expires in June 2023. According to information from The Daily Star and AS, La Viola will ask for at least 80 million euros for Vlahovic. Some of his suitors would like to close the deal this winter, but the player wants to end the season with Fiorentina. Only a contract with an annual salary of 12 million euros can change the Serbian's mind. With only four starts out of the ten games he's played in all competitions, France international Anthony Martial's career at Man United isn't thriving, and the forward is now looking to jump ship. Desires to leave were confirmed by his manager Ralf Ragnick. We talked at length, admitted the German tactician. He told me that he'd been at Manchester United for seven years and that he feels that now is the time to change, to go and play elsewhere. The interim coach nevertheless clarified that the club had not received any offer for the moment for the French forward. I think it's legitimate. I can understand him, but you also have to take into account the club's situation. It is a period of… Uh, the virus we shan't name. We are playing three competitions in which we have ambitions. We want to succeed. From what I know, we have not received any offers and as long as it is the case, he will stay," Ragnik added. Meanwhile, a club has decided to end the pursuit of Paul Pogba. Where will Paul Pogba play next season? Eh, it's difficult to say. If some of the many free players in 2022 are starting to find a new destination, the Frenchman is waiting for a concrete offer. An extension with the Red Devils, which seemed possible, is no longer a guarantee. We also discussed recently that Ralf Ragnick wouldn't force holding him back. But it must be said that for the moment, there are not a lot of teams that seem ready to offer the French star what he wants. Barcelona, who were reportedly interested, for example, said no, since Xavi is not really interested, while there is not too much news from Juventus. Real Madrid seem to be the main contenders, but Los Blancos are no longer interested in him and have reportedly said no to his agent. Not really surprising, since it's been several weeks since the Iberian media explained that there were internal doubts. Madrid leaders are particularly afraid that the arrival of Pogba would slow down the progress of Camavinga or Fede Valverde. The decision is final this time, and unless the situation turns around, Paul Pogba will not land in Spain next summer. It remains to be seen who will be ready to offer him a big contract, but one thing is for certain – the rest of Pogba's career might not be written in Spain. Marseille, often concerned, have several things to deal with this month. Between players at the end of their contract like Kamara, the possible big sales of the likes of Duya Chaletakar, and the players on loan, Pablo Longoria will live a rather hectic winter, knowing that, in addition, for there to be arrivals, there will need to be sales. And they could well have the solution to replenish the coffers. According to Tuto Sport, Juventus are still interested in Arkadiusz Milik. The Turin Giants want to strengthen their offensive sector, and the pole is one of the players considered interesting by the club's management. 
This season, the former Napoli man, who still officially belongs to the team from the south of Italy by the way, is not indisputable in the eyes of Jorge Sampaoli and has only scored a single goal in 11 league earn appearances, although he did better in the Europa League with four goals in five games. But in Italy, he still remains a great addition for any team. It remains to be seen how much Juventus will be able to spend, and above all, how Marseille will be compensated, while the pole is on loan from Naples until June. Even if, if we trust the recent words of Pablo Longoria, he is practically a Marseille player. Elected president of Benfica last October, the former Portuguese player Rui Costa is looking for a replacement for the coach Jorge Jesus, who has been under increasing pressure of late, especially after the heavy defeat at the hands of bitter rivals Porto in the Portuguese Cup. To succeed him in case of a departure, the former midfielder has his eyes set on a former teammate that he knew during their time at AC Milan, Andrea Pirlo. According to information from Calcio Mercato, the former Juventus manager has already been contacted by the Benfica president to take the reins of the Eagles soon. Nevertheless, the press mentions other names present in the shortlist. Indeed, the former coach of AS Roma and Shakhtar Donetsk, Paolo Fonseca, also under consideration, just like the former Wolverhampton manager, Nuno Espirito Santo. This will be a decisive moment for Usman Dembele's career at Barcelona. After getting married on December 23rd, to everyone's surprise, the French international has reportedly given the green light to the Blaugrana management to extend his contract in Catalonia, expiring next summer. Not very expressive on his social networks, the former René man posted a small clue on his Instagram account a few days back. Indeed, we see a publication from the official count of Barca presenting the logo of the club, as to confirm his love for the badge and, in a way, teasing a contract renewal, the terms of which might be unveiled in the Spanish press pretty soon. At present, Barcelona have a load of problems to deal with. The Blaugrana are in 7th place in the league standings and they trail the leaders, Real Madrid, by 18 points. They had a woeful start to the campaign and that cost Ronald Koeman his job. The Dutchman was replaced by the former player Xavi, whose arrival hasn't necessarily turned things around, but showed us that a change of hands was never going to turn things around for the club. While there's definitely something different about Barca under Xavi, their squad needs a lot of changes in order to compete at the top. Crashing out of the Champions League might have hurt, but that could be exactly what the club needed, some time away from the elite to reflect on things that they did wrong and work on a strategy to come back stronger. In the upcoming January transfer window, Xavi will be backed by Juan Laporta. For instance, the arrival of Ferran Torres from Manchester City has been all but confirmed, and the young winger is expected to become an undisputed starter right away. Similarly, Dembele is likely to extend his contract, but at the same time, the club will be looking to offload several elements that are of no use. Yusuf Demir is most certainly out of the door, while the club is also looking to end Luke de Jong's loan spell from Sevilla. The Dutchman could end up signing for Cadiz. Sergino Dest is already on the way out after failing to win over his manager. But then again, the club's most important issue will be to find a suitor for Samuel Titi. The French defender has been struggling with multiple injuries, and selling him will be quite a task. Nonetheless, Barcelona have to find a way to raise enough funds to go big in the next couple of transfer windows. Frankie de Jong is one player who might be sacrificed, but has great transfer value. The Dutchman is attracting interest from Manchester United, and if Barca are able to sell him to the Red Devils, they might have enough cash to invest in a stable option at the back. Xavi is definitely struggling at the moment, and it's not down to his coaching acumen. Watching his team play has given us an insight on how he wants Barcelona to approach matches. However, he's bound to struggle to make this team a group of world beaters, without a stable backline and a productive frontline. Once that's sorted out, we can expect the Spanish giants to be roaring again.